How's it going, guys? Chris back here again with some more. Mr. Dark Brawl. I opened my first Tarkir Commander. Random pull. We got a Narset. Uh, we're gonna bring all this. And better, but also worse. Uh, okay, Rokuko is gone. Never mind. Huh. I imagine that's gonna happen a lot today. Um. Because I did play a couple test games with Narset, and uh, she's less than fun to play against. <laughs> um, yeah, she's just less than fun to play against. She's fun to play, though. The turns aspect of her card is very difficult to pull off. But no, get again, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, this is two concedes in under a minute and a half. Is, uh, is mulliganing not something that people do anymore? Or is Narset just that, that broken? I don't know. She is broken. You basically get to cast three cards for free the second she attacks. Uh, and if you don't have removal, that's way too much advantage like she can remove something do a whole bunch of different stuff like it's a, a bit crazy this is better we'll keep this piece it together is actually an extra turn spell can you believe it I should have. No, there was no way around that, was there? I wanted to do a turn one to piece it together, but. Invasion's gonna be good, though. See if we can trade two life for more than two life. Uh, actually, we don't even need to trade two life. The two tax, though, from the invasion isn't great for mono green decks, right? Because they can make up the difference relatively easily. Gaming as command. I'd like to avoid Rampire Opponent as much as possible. Yeah, so we only really have Eldritch Epiphany, Karn's Temporal Sundering, and then Time Warp. Uh, Nexus of Fate is banned. Still. Um, and, like, we can get. Another time warp from Oracle of the Alpha. Ooh. Opponent? I what what is going on, bro? I do not know. You foretell a card and people leave. We are making no progress on our quest. We've technically won four, uh, three games in under five minutes, which is, like, that's stats, bro. Our stats are high. This is not a very good Narset deck. Like, it's not tuned, man. 
Surprised we haven't seen more Narset decks. Although, like, Hawkins was dropped without a lot of fanfare. Like, you could have loaded up Arena, updated, thinking it was some kind of alchemy thing going on, and not notice that cons were there, right? Because there wasn't a front page spread on it or anything like that. It was just kind of dropped. Ooh, Cersei is probably just a fairer version of Narset. Okay. Yeah, she's probably just a fairer version of Narset. So I need a land. I wouldn't mind a Triome either. Triome would be good. Rugrim Triome, where are you? I need to reduce this by two. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Can't we? Yeah, we didn't have red and white at the same time. Unicorn. Uh, probably just want to want to get rid of the unicorn. Like I can take Luminarch pings. I don't know if I can take um, a Johnny Pride Mate level threat coming my way every turn. That's a bit obscene. All right, we survive until next turn. Nurse does have hexproof, so she is uh she is reliably stable as a commander. We are going to make our opponent sad. Go for it. Uh -huh. So let's make that do that. So Narset lives another day. Thanks to Lorehold Command. Might as well cast a vial. It is free after all. Lay down arms. That boy. A little bit more life to play with opponent. Go swinging. Hmm. Go, uh, Cloud Shift. Let's do this. Uh, it's better just to exile creatures. Uh, Draw a card. Fairies protection. Uh, then exile creatures. Mm. 
This is why people have been conceding, I think. I think this is why people concede. I mean, it's always a bit shady when your opponent is mulliganing. But, um, it's like this stuff here that really... Hey, look at that, it's a wandering emperor. Wow. <laughs> Discard, sure. Hmm. No life gain for you, opponent. I do love Cersei as a commander. She's a very cool commander. Well, I don't need to, uh... Not then. One ring, I guess. I don't need to start extinction. Uh... Decline. Don't need it. Uh, overwhelming Splendor opponent. And I'll take me with them. I mean, that was, that was a bit insane, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll go on to a game, have a game four, so I guess this is game five. I never really got to play with Narset back when cons came out. I was part of the teamer faction uh, during, like, the pre-release and all the promotional materials and stuff, like... I was Teamer. Most of the cards I played around were Teamer. Which was not... It wasn't the most powerful of the kills. Or of the cons. Uh, we had Sark and Dragonclaw. He uh, supported Flash and Trampoly stuff. And he was cool. He was cool, but... Uh, it's hard to compete with... The sheer audacity that Narset can pull off. But I was worried when I was building her that, uh, that a 3 2 was just not gonna hold up. Let's look for another land. Uh, sorry, you gotta go to the bottom. Us for sneeze. Happy that we got our land though.
You know, opponent, you should be worried. Hmm. Chaos Warp is also surprisingly good in our deck because we don't have many permanents. I'm not going to Chaos Warp my stuff yet, though, because next turn we just get to play Narset. Canopy Windswept Heat. So close and yet so far. Thoughts opponent? You should probably just play your OG and pass a turn. Or are they going to one for one me with Wrath? No, they're going to go for it. Hey, opponent, welcome to the team. Team being those that got beaten up by Narset. Yeah, I actually want the next turn, and I will not submit any. Uh, yeah, you also have overwhelming splendor to worry about, and I will have these boots. Thank you for your time. Well, that was five games. That was five games in under seventeen minutes. I think we're going to end her off there. We should not subject the ladder to too much in our set because people, yeah, she's just uh, a little dangerous. A little bit dangerous. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.